Australia will offer sanctuary to residents of the tiny flood-prone nation of Tuvalu as part of a landmark deal announced at the Pacific Islands Forum. The treaty also gives Australia the power to veto any security or military deal between Tuvalu and any other nation. A helping hand to a Pacific neighbour threatened by climate change. Australia commits to provide assistance to Tuvalu in response to a major natural disaster, to a health pandemic or to military aggression. Prime Minister Anthony Albanese and Tuvalu Prime Minister Kosia Natano sign a historic treaty. The most significant agreement between Australia and a Pacific Island nation ever. The dedication of Australia to supporting the people of Tuvalu goes beyond words. And it has touched our hearts. The Australia Tuvalu Filipini Union will allow Tuvalu's more than 10,000 residents to seek refuge in Australia. 280 citizens each year will be granted a special visa to work and study in Australia. I believe that developed nations have a responsibility to provide assistance, and that is precisely what we are doing. Australia is also committing to providing assistance in the event of a natural disaster or military aggression. The two nations will have to mutually agree before Tuvalu signs security and defence deals with another state or entity. What this does really today is formalise Australia as Tuvalu's partner of choice going forward. The PM pledged $16.9 million to expand Tuvalu's main island's landmass by 6% to combat rising sea levels. Tuvalu is extremely vulnerable to the impact of climate change, especially rising sea levels, and is trying to preserve its culture, traditions and land. The announcement came after the PM flew back from a leader's retreat in Aitutaki. <laughs> on board a traditional boat known as a walker, providing a serene setting for serious talks about the impact of climate change. The retreat is a way for Pacific Islands leaders to hold intimate talks in an informal setting away from political advisers and the media. The Prime Minister will only spend a few days back on home soil before jetting off again, joining the likes of Joe Biden and Xi Jinping at the APEC Leaders Summit in San Francisco this time next week. Jack Nyhoff, Sky News, Rarotonga.